Although Imam Baghir was pursuing a peaceful confrontation with the government, Hisham had hatred towards Imam and feared his social popularity as the most knowledgeable person in the society. Furthermore, the events that occurred during Imam's visit to Damascus were also influential in Hisham's decision to martyr the Imam. These events included Imam's archery skills, his debate with Hisham leading to Hisham's humiliation, and his debate with the Christian leader which spread Imam's name among the Syrians. Thus, Ibrahim ibn Walid, Hisham's nephew and the governor of Medina, poisoned Imam by Hisham's orders. There is historical evidence suggesting that Imam might have been poisoned multiple times by the Umayyad rulers, but God had saved him. As a result of the poisoning, Imam became very sick. He informed everyone that he would not make it to the following day. When Imam was in his deathbed, he made a will to his son Imam Sadiq to spend a part of his wealth to hold a morning service in Mina during Hajj season for 10 years to remind people about the oppression against him from the government. Imam Baghir also asked Imam Sadiq to bring some of the elders of Medina as witnesses for his will. In his will, he asked Imam Sadiq to take care of his burial and requested him to follow specific guidance for his shroud and tomb. Later, Imam Sadiq asked his father about the reason for having witnesses for such simple requests. Imam Baghir replied that he wanted people to realize that Imam Sadiq is his rightful successor and the next Imam to avoid any doubt after him. Imam Baghir's soul ascended and he passed away on the 7th of Dhil Hajjah in the year of 114th Hijri at the age of 57. Imam Sadiq took care of his father's funeral and was followed by crowds of grieving Muslims. Imam Baghir was buried at the cemetery of Baghi, next to the graves of his father Imam Sajjad and his great uncle Imam Hassan. La ilaha illallah.